can't do that chums does i captain steven today chums we're playing elden ring and today i'm going to show you a way to cheese the first boss margit the foul yes heck yes i am so we're going to be heading over to this little swamp it's easterly of where you start out at the game yeah i bought my first freaking pet guinea pig off someone called margaret it's not really a warrior's name is it but then again i'm not going to be going toe to toe but the way that i'm going to go about doing it is to cheese him by using a specific ghost summon so this ghost summon is quite easy to get from the very first point where you start out facing that guy yeah just jump on your horse and head off over into this direction here east easterly head easterly and you're heading over to the ruins you can see there i've got an air of corn there i went there earlier i got eaten alive by freaking rats so yeah just keep that in mind there's rats in this freaking basement people and they're nasty ravenous rats yes they are so just keep going this way until you reach these sort of I know ruins ruins of a church there's a lot of blinking churches in this game isn't there if that is a church anyway there we go there we are there's the actual dungeon area i want to go into here heck yes i do and i'm going to call in my ghost dogs so hopefully i'm going to be getting a ghost dog at the end of this well halfway through before we go and fight margit and the ghost dog that i'm going to get actually inflicts rot upon bad guys and we're going to infect margit with rot and he's going to slowly take damage. So as long as we can keep away from him, we're going to win. I guess we are. Anyway, take this, you ratty little git bags. Right, so after you kill these rats, we're going to get a treasure chest. Anyway, let's just kill these rats. I'm going to speed the footage up. Righto, so that's all the rats dead. That's the, well, that's the last one. Done. And now I can go over to this door that you open very slowly. There we are, chikapow, and you open up a treasure chest. The treasure chest has no treasure in. It teleports you. It teleports you into these horrible mines now i would say they might be good for stone gathering or whatever but no no i can't really even say that because the actual bad guys that you get in these caves are freaking op yeah i'm level 40 and i still struggle with them now so don't fight them would be my advice try and keep away from them but you want to head down behind the back of the shack if you just creep they're not going to really pay much attention to you just don't hit them because they sort of morph into these giant centipede like creatures and they can throw these weird stuff at you and it does a lot of damage they're quite nasty little individuals right so you can use the ladder or you can just jump off of there to be fair but yeah, head on down and get to the opposite side of said ladder and go outside of the exit. Once you exit outside of the actual cave, you're going to be confronted with all this sort of gnarly sort of coral sort of area. A completely new sort of looking biome. Just hug a left. Now, the actual ghost dog that we're going to be picking up, this rot hound, as I call it, there is a rot hound, or rot viler, <laughs> see what I did there, hanging around just down here. And it chases me in a moment, people. And it actually gets me when I get to the site of grace. So stay tuned for that if you want to see me die. Yeah, in quite a brutal way, to be fair. There he is. That's the rot dog. And this corpse here has actually got the rot stray. There we go. Oh, fudge. There we are. Look, it's infected me with rot. You can see that orange bar was slowly going up. If that got to 100%, I'd be rotting. <laughs> Pretty freaking grim. Anyhow, let's head on over here and let's hit on up this little campfire. Or whatever you want to call it, Sight of Grace, Campfire, sorry, Souls Games, no, Souls Games. Yeah, and there's there's that freaking rot dog, and he's, he's a rotter. He's a complete rotter. He got me. He got me, but I'm right by the camp, and I can just pick up my ruins, which I've already got 78 anyway. So I would suggest before doing any of this sort of adventuring off to this sort of land that's really quite tough, is make sure you haven't got a shed load of runes on you. You don't want to lose them. Right, next we're going to go to Margit. So this is just outside of the actual castle before you go in to get Margit. And you can see that I crept up the side. I only had to take out a couple of people with um, crossbows. And then you can creep round the back, kill this guy if you really want to. I mean, you don't have to. And you can see I picked up my souls there because last time I just ran up there, killed him, and then a load of soldiers just killed me. If you do take the straight route, loads of soldiers follow you. Go around the side, creep around the side. There we go. And as you go in here, just on your left-hand side is another point of grace where you can actually rest. So it's just in this little alcove. You can see that someone's left a little message. Beware of trap. There's no trap. Or at least that wasn't for me. There you go. I was looking around for a trap. It's not. It's a site of grace. So it's probably a good thing that that message was there, even though it was a bit of a troll one because it got me looking around anyhow do everything you need to prep for the actual battle but make sure you equip your ghost dog the rottweiler <laughs> put him onto your ghosty panel so you can actually summon him in so once you go through the gate that's just up past that side to grace you're going to get a lovely little cutscene, and then you're going to be fighting against margit now i'm not going to lie 
I didn't beat him on my first go, people. No, this is about my fourth attempt at doing this. And yeah, the dog works bloody well. So here we go. Let's bring him out, the rotten stray. There we go. Go get him, boy. Now, Margit, in his first phase, throws two sort of daggers. So as soon as one comes at you, there's two. And don't dodge backwards because they, they go a long distance. They go pretty much the whole duration of this bridge. Dodge to the sides. Now, he will go into a second phase in a moment as well. He keeps lunging like this. Just do as I do. Just roll about. I am hitting him with the odd magic attack. There we go. So I'm rolling to the side. You can see there, I, I, there's my point where I died last time. But you just need to keep your distance from him. In a bit, you're going to see him go red. He's going to get this little red cloud above his head to signify that he... There you go. He's got rot on him now. So my dog has done its bit. If he kills the dog too fast, sometimes he doesn't get the rot applied. Hence why it took me a couple of times before I actually managed to beat him. But you can see here, his energy is just going down in increments, even though I'm just keeping my distance. He's entered into his second phase now where he gets this giant light hammer. So as soon as you see him take to the sky... Just get ready to dodge. You want to dodge as he's just coming down, um, not before really, because he will still catch you. Um, but yeah, because he can change direction in the air and come down and get you. So as soon as he commits to where he's coming, then just get out of the freaking way. A lot of his other attacks, you're going to see him coming a mile off, so it's quite easy to actually take out once you got used to his attack phases. But yeah, just keep your distance from him, and there we go. He's dead, diddly dead, and I only had to do half the work. So yeah, my dog done the rest. Even if your dog dies, the rot stays applied. Freaking great. Pick up my souls. Now I can go and rest at the actual camp. Fire. <laughs> Point of grace. And that level up. And that's pretty much how you can take out Margit. So there we are. Now, I didn't work this out myself. I was having trouble with Margit. So I looked up a quick guide. And yeah. I found it online. So you know what, I'm going to put up the guide that I followed in the top right hand corner and give credit where credit's due. You'll also find a link to the original video that I followed in my video description. So there we go people. I hope this helps you out and uh, it's been pretty darn sweet. You got yourself a new little ghost dog. Sweet. And you've managed to get yourself past Margit. Good luck getting through the rest of the castle though. Because yeah, I got to a room with a big freaking dark knight in there and I actually found him harder than Margit. He keeps kicking my butt, but I'm a wizard. I'm not very good at melee. So, yeah, that's, that's me done. Until next time, goodbye, goodbye, and goodbye again. Take care. Cheers. Well, thank you very much for watching. If you like what you see, please hit a like and a subscribe. And I'd like to say a massive great big thank you to all of my backers over on Patreon and over on YouTube membership. Thanking you, backers. And if you want to support this channel, just don't skip the adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or yeah, just stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. There's merch here now too.